Cars have been racing through Monaco's streets since 1929, and this weekend is no exception, as we get to watch the new generation of world-class drivers take over Monte Carlo. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. Monaco is famous for its many narrow twists and corners. From the brake-heavy La Rascasse to the treacherous Sand of Ott, there are no proper straights to speak of, and it's extremely hard to overtake here. It sounds like simple advice, but getting up as high on that starting grid as possible is the best plan of attack. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. Let the weekend begin! After a day of free practice yesterday, we wrap up with a third and final session before moving on to qualifying. Time and time again, we see just how little separates the drivers as they complete their qualifying laps. Those who have pushed that little bit harder during qualifying can be rewarded with a grid place that sets them apart from their competitors going into the race. Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One.
it's time for the final touches here on the grid ahead of today's race. Alfa Romeo managed to meet expectations during qualifying. And if they can keep this up, they'll have a good race ahead of them. Seeing how they did in qualifying, Williams are going to be the team to watch here. They'll be starting strong at the top of the grid and will have many opportunities to steer the race in their favor. And the clouds today look very ominous, which means that teams may have to contend with rain at some point during the race. So as the drivers prepare to weave their way around the streets of Monaco, you have to think there'll be twists and turns aplenty. The drivers have now taken position on the grid, and it's looking like a cloudy day. And here we have the Alfa Romeo. Starting in third place, they're in a really good position for this race. And it's the second Alfa Romeo there. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalize on it? The teams are ready to go. It's time for one of the most exciting races in the world. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Very good. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Let's take a closer look. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Goodness me, there they go. Moving ahead of the other driver. Back in the garage, the team absolutely loved it.
Box, box, box. There's been a crash. We can take a look now. Okay, here's the Ferrari. And that's an off and a big off. Box, just lab box, box.
position gained for Alfa Romeo. Here's the replay. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. A bold move indeed. And with that, they've gained a position. That was a big moment. The team are clearly delighted. Sounds like someone's locked up. You can push. Seven laps to go. Six laps to go. Five laps to go, five laps. if you
Last lap, last lap. Alfa Romeo's driver had an OK time here this weekend. Not a bad run from Alfa Romeo this weekend, but before the next race, I think they'll want to take a good look at what they can improve. They are a solid team and will be looking to solve their issues. Hopefully, we'll start seeing stronger results from them soon. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. Next time, the teams will be racing through the streets of another city. Join us in Baku on the shores of the Caspian Sea for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix.